The leaves are changing, the seasonal reminders are out, and the sun is at the low angle you expect in October. But something's not normal. It's September, and late now it's October, and it's summer. Yes, in this country, going shirtless at the beach in October seems great, but... It's possible that this is not good for the planet. Indeed, the planet's temperature last month was an astounding 1.8 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The reason? Persistent global warming with an extra injection of heat this year from the Pacific El Nino current. We have been warming the Earth's temperature yearly at this point. So when El Nino occurs, we're augmenting that heat due to climate change. But what's very different about September is that those records were just shattered. The EU's Copernicus satellite and land and ocean and atmospheric data is increasingly alarming. Here are the Earth's surface air temperature comparisons for the last 83 Septembers. For almost 70 years, the anomalies relative to the period 1991 to 2020 were cooler than average. But look at the last 15 years. Every September has been warmer than average, close to half a degree. And this September, almost a full degree Celsius above that average. Canada is already seeing the extreme impacts of climate change, Atlantic hurricanes, wildfires from east to west, and melting Arctic ice. We're simply not doing enough, say experts, to bring down carbon emissions, governments, the fossil fuel industry, and all of us as individuals. This is what the data is telling us. It's telling us that we need to be doing so much more and we need to be doing it faster. There has to be regulations. We need to have a big shift. It means a total change of paradigm, changing the way we work, the way we live. That's the only way we can really, really stop this. So we can and should enjoy the mild autumn. But climate scientists point out that a warm, dry fall and winter could bring the same conditions next year that saw disasters this year. In short, this is not normal and not necessarily a good omen for the future. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.